The next time you have friends over, you'll be the toast of the town as Mark Spiegel shows you how to entertain like a pro. Welcome to How to Entertain Like a Pro, and I am Chef Mark Spiegel. Today we have a beautiful pasta dish for you. Very rich, very decadent, and very, very packed with lots of flavor. We're gonna be making a pumpkin ravioli with a hazelnut cream sauce. So what we're gonna to do to start out is we're gonna make a cream sauce. Now again, what's really nice is the hazelnuts. The hazelnuts add just such an incredible flavor. The cream is a sponge for everything. Whatever flavors you have around that cream, it's gonna absorb. So what we did here was we actually took the hazelnuts and we roasted them in the oven. You gotta watch those real carefully because boy, you could before you could think or blink, they'll turn around and they will turn into something burnt. So take them out of the oven. We're just one of the nice and toasted brown. Put them inside of a paper towel or inside of a cloth towel you have and rub them, which will make the skins come off. At that point, put them in your Cuisinart and go ahead and pulse it quickly. Not too much, because then you'll wind up with the paste. And there you have beautiful toasted roasted hazelnuts. Put a little olive oil in there. Let that oil pick up a little bit of heat. And it's a very fast recipe. You put in some garlic, not too much because you just want to have a nice background flavor. Cayenne pepper, I love that. Gives a little bit of a uh, surprise kick that not everybody will really pick up where it's coming from. A little salt, a little pepper. I like to do that in the beginning for this for some reason, just to give it a little bit of a jump. Garlic is nice and sauteed, but again, you gotta be careful because you don't want that to get, grab any kind of a dark color because that'll create a bitterness in your sauce. And we're just gonna add the heavy cream to there, nice and light. Heavy cream, always remember, the amount of heavy cream you need has to be the right amount to be able to enrobe your pasta completely on all sides. You don't want it sitting in a bucket of soup, but you also don't want it where you wish you had 50% more so that all the pasta had a sauce. I'm gonna add those hazelnuts, because why? Those hazelnuts are gonna impart that beautiful, beautiful flavor into that sauce right away. Now you gotta be careful because you gotta make sure that you keep moving that because you've got a good flame going on under here and it's very easy for those hazelnuts to stick to the bottom of the pan and burn. So keep going like this with a rubber spatula. I like to pre-cook the pasta and after I cook it, I like to cool them down and then enrobe it just with a little bit of oil. It just keeps them from sticking together because each one of those pasta does deserve to have its own identity. There's already a magnificent flavor inside of that sauce. At this point, we're gonna add the ravioli. The ravioli, since they're cooked already, all they need to do now is get hot. And they will get hot from this cream sauce very, very quickly. And there they are. And as they're just finishing the heat, the heat is going right through them. What I like to do is take some whole butter. It gives so much character to the sauce, and especially with the hazelnuts. The hazelnuts are rich, the butter is rich, and again, while as long as you got that fire going, you must keep stirring the pasta and the sauce. Otherwise, that butter will separate and create a greasiness on top of your sauce instead of the beautiful shine that I'm looking for to get from the butter. At this point, your pasta is done. It's that quick and that easy. Finish it with a little bit of chopped parsley. Whatever kind of plate you like. I like this one, it's a beautiful little flour plate. We just take the pastas. You may want to do three or four as an appetizer, and you want to do maybe six or so as a uh, entree. It depends upon what you're gonna go ahead and serve it as. And what I like to do is now hit it with one more dusting of the roasted and toasted hazelnuts. Another little swirl right around the outside of the parsley. And there you have it a beautiful pasta dish, a pumpkin ravioli with a hazelnut cream sauce. A wonderful first course for any kind of a dinner that you might be having folks over for, especially coming up now to the fall time or the winter time. 
It's hearty and it's delicious. For these recipes and many, many more, please visit our website at moecatering.com. And here's to entertaining with a whole lot of excellence. Thank you very much and have a nice day.